What's up, my name is Giada. Welcome back to my channel. So I've heard of the news that Mesa Alhambra is gonna be discontinuing multiple fragrances. So all the Tom Ford um, clones are gonna be discontinued because of how close they are and also they probably got sued or something. I don't really know. But because of that, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite ones that I was able to purchase before they got discontinued. I'm pretty sure they're going to like remake them but with different packaging. They're probably gonna follow some type of like Armoff type of style where they clone the fragrance, completely different name, completely different packaging. But when you get it, you spray it and you smell it, the hype behind it is gonna propulse it so people will start knowing, okay, this is a clone of this fragrance or that fragrance. And they can't really go ahead and like terminate anything because of course, it's not a direct clone. It can just be inspired by it and they can't really knock you for anything. But the packaging won't be too similar and the naming scheme is not gonna be too similar so they won't be able to sue them if they try to clone their fragrances. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite scent out of the three that I have in my collection from Maison Alhambra, AKA La Tafa. First, let me show you guys the three that I have. The Tux, I also have Amber and Leather. This one, which is the Woody Oud clone of Tom Ford Woody Wood, that's the clone. Which one out of the three is my favorite scent? I have to say, scent-wise, the one that's just wow, that I love the most, it has to be the Tux. Ah, every time I smell this, it's just so amazing. Because it's, wow, this scent is very unique. You're not gonna find multiple scents that are just like this. But also, it's just so amazing to see as you get from it. YSL Tuxedo is such an amazing fragrance. I have a small little sample size of it that I got. And honestly, it is just such a good fragrance. And when I smelled Rojas or Rokas, I don't know how you say it, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna guess it's Rojas, Rojas Moustache. Such a great fragrance, smells really nice. But this takes it to a different level with the added patchouli. It's so close to the original. So this is why this one is my favorite scent. Now, out of the three, which is the most versatile? I would say the most versatile out of all three of my colognes from Maison Alhambra, it is Woody Wood. This smells so close to the original with its own little like twist. It's a bit more fresh, there's less strong vanillas. There's a nice patchouli note that's in here as well. But I really like to layer this as well, like under certain fragrances to have more woodiness and a bit of like muskiness. Like I'll have like a fresh fragrance. And then after that, I'll put like, first I'll put this and then I'll put a fresh fragrance on top so that it can intensify the woods in that fragrance and make it a bit darker, you know? And it's very versatile because you can wear this in high heat. You can also wear this in colder weather. This will definitely work better in colder environments. However, I think this is fresh and woody enough and not too strong and dark that like you can wear this basically any time in the year, just like the original. And that's why this one is the most versatile out of the bunch. Mm, great fragrance. Now, which one is the closest to the fragrance they are cloning? I'm gonna rank them from the best to the least as in number one is the closest and number three is the least closest out of the three that I have. So number one on the list is YSL The Tux. I mean, what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the Tux by Maison Alhambra. This is extremely close to the original to the point where if you were to blind sniff the two, you would not be able to tell the difference between this and whatever is actually cloning. And I even have a video on this testing both side by side and it is very, very hard to tell. You can kind of tell if you are experienced enough with fragrances to know like certain ways that certain more expensive fragrances are gonna smell like in comparison to cheaper ones. But the quality on this is really high and somebody who's just blind sniffing it, even myself, can definitely get tricked and will not be able to tell the difference between the two. So this one is number one. Now, number two, closest is this one right here amber and leather this is extremely close to ombre leather parfum not the eau de parfum but the parfum version 
extremely close. I remember going to a store, a Sephora, and I sprayed it on my hand. And when I smelt it, I automatically thought like, whoa, am I wearing the fragrance on my hand? Am I wearing ember and leather? Or is this actually ombre leather parfum? Because I cannot tell the difference. This is so spot on that I was like, damn. The only thing is I can't put this one number one because I never had both fragrances. So I had the time to actually wear it out and see how close it was. But because I had a little sample of tuxedo, I was able to closely, you know, compare the two. But this is basically neck and neck with that one. But just because of that one factor, I put this one on number two because it's so close, but I never had both side by side for a good amount of time wearing both and being able to compare the performance, the way the scent is and how it's moving. So this is why this one is on number two. And obviously the last one is none other than Woody Oud. It's very close, I have to say. It has a bit of differences. However, the differences are not that big, but it is still, regardless, number three on the list. But don't get it wrong, don't get it twisted. This is still very, very close. And I don't think you can find any fragrance for this price of like $30 that is as close to Tom Ford Oud Wood. And take in, the price difference is massive. You can get like 20 bottles of this for the price of the original, maybe even more. My math is definitely trash, but just know that this is extremely cheap. It's less than a fraction of that other. So just know if you want something that gets close to it, this is a great fragrance. If you can get it in stock, you should get it. But if you can't, wait until they relaunch it. They most likely will. And I'm sure there's different clones out there of this fragrance that you can get that will get you pretty similar results. So thank you guys for watching my video. I was just going to show you guys my Maison Alhambra collection so far. I never got to try the other ones like the more sweet or fresh ones like, you know, Tom Ford Neroli Portofino, I believe the name is, or the like, um, the peach one. They had such nice colors and bottles and stuff, but I never got to try those. Let me know what other clones I should try from different houses, because I know that Maison Alhambra really focused on Tom Ford. Obviously there's one that's from YSL, but let me know about some different clones that I should try out, you know, from different houses or a different house that likes to clone fragrances from a specific house, you know, because I want to try everything and see how close it is so that you guys don't have to waste your money and I waste all of my money. I think I have a good amount of fragrances, but clones are always something I love to have because if you don't want to spend 200 plus on the original, getting something that's close enough is also a very good choice, especially if you want to save some money. And also if you want to get something that basically does the same for less with some tacky packaging, sometimes that's the best option to go, especially for a young student like myself. We don't have money to throw out there, but Maison Alhambra really came in clutch and helped us save money for the time that they had these fragrances listed. Hopefully they come back with different fragrances and also the same that we love so we can repurchase them. But this time with packaging and presentation that won't get them sued because these fragrances are amazing. And if you have the chance of getting them, enjoy them while you can. And I don't know about the resale, but if somebody trying to buy any of my fragrances for $150, comment, I might have to send that to you and get some peas out of that. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day, night, and evening, and peace.